buttons. In this video, we'll show you how to format your text in Word add-in using inline text mode. So if I go to Salesforce, I've got this text field here called CC. It's just an email field. Let's say I put a, an email in here, for example, like this. All right, testergmail.com. If I go back to my Word document here, and then I'll go ahead and insert this field. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll choose contact, and then we'll use CC. And that's without the format, all right? So that's there, and then I'm going to put is the contacts CC email, just random text behind it. Now, if I was to go ahead and preview this now, um, so I'll just quickly use this contact available. and then paste and save, save conditions. If I preview this now, what you will see is that, um, well, it actually hasn't pulled the email across, so let's go ahead and do that, make sure what it's not doing that. CC, that's the email. So edit field. Oh, that's why. Okay, maybe I didn't get the ID in there properly. Okay, now the condition is saved. If I preview now, you can see that the emails pulled through, but the text is broken. It's adjusted it into another line because this is a text field or a long text field. So what you essentially want to do is be able to do just this, have it lined properly. So in order to do that, we've introduced a functionality called inline text. So I'll click on the same field, go to edit field. And then in the format, I'm going to say inline text. Now, if I click apply and save, watch what happens. So instead of breaking it, what it's going to do is going to get the field in the same line like this. So it comes through really, really nicely and super simple. All right, so previously it was breaking it like this, but now it's no longer breaking it, and it's all bringing it inline text like this. And uh, and that's how it's done. Uh, super easy functionality. All you have to do is, when you're bringing the field back, is make sure that, and, and if you do come across this issue, make sure that you set the format to be uh, inline text like this. Thank you for watching this video.